we have a nice problem here f of x equal to greatest stranger function of x whole square minus greatest stranger function of x square. The square is outside here and the square is inside here. Right. Then whether the function is continuous or discontinuous across integers, specifically at 0 and 1. Okay. So we know our greatest integer function. Greatest integer function of 2.1 is actually 2. Minus 2.1 is minus 3, which is the greatest integer which is less than or equal to the given x. Okay. So now let us try to draw the graph of this. How does it look? Okay. To understand the, what happens at 0 and 1. Firstly, greatest integer function of x whole square. Okay. Greatest integer function of x. This one between 0 to 1, it is 0. Between 1 to 2, it is 1. Between minus 1 to 0, it is minus 1, etc. Okay. Now, this one whole square. That is 0 square 0. 1 square is 1. Minus 1 square is also 1. So, between uh, 2 to 3, it is actually equal to 2. So, the 2 square is equal to 4. Okay. Like this. So, look at this graph. Greatest in the function of x whole square. That is, this green lines. Okay. Between 0 to 1, the red and the green are overlapping. That is, this one. Between 0 to 1, it is 0. Between 1 to 2, it is 1. Between minus 1 to 0. Between minus 1 to 0, it is 1 again. And between 2 to 3, it is 4. Between 2 to 3, it is 4. Basically, all these green lines. All these green lines. Here green is coinciding. Here this green lines. All the green lines are this one. What happens to the second one? Greatest in function of x square. Right. This one between 0 to 1 again. Between 0 to 1. All numbers are the square of all numbers are lesser than 1 and greater than 0. So, this should be this should be equal to 0. Right. That is this red one. Now, when you talk about between 1 to 2, what will happen? 1 to 2, we have we have a root 2 here, we have a root 3 here, and we have 2 here, which is roughly 1.4, 1 1.7, 1 and 2. Between 1 to root 2, it this will be 1, right? Uh, greatest integer function. This one we are talking about this x square. Between 1 to root 2, this should be equal to 1. Because less than 1.4, whatever, 1.3 square, whatever, those all would be in the range of 1.9, whatever. Right. So between 1 to root 2, this greatest integer function of x square is 1. Between root 2 to root 3. Right. That should be 2. Between root 3 to root 4, that is 2. That should be equal to 3. Right. That is this one. Between 1 to root 2, that is 1. Between 2, root 2 to root 3, that is 2. Between root 3 to root 4, that is 2. Between root 3 to root 4 is nothing but 2, is actually equal to 3. Right. Now, when exactly, again, same logic applies after, after uh, 2 also. Right. So, for example, now between 2 and root 5, it should be equal to 4. Right. Between 2 and root 5, it should be equal to 4. And between root 5 and root 6, it should be equal to 6. Sorry, root 5 and root 6, it should be equal to 5. Right. Basically, what we are saying, root 5 whole square is 5. And uh, root 6 whole square is 6. Anything lesser than root 6. This should, should, this should be 5.9999 and all. Okay. Between root 5 and root 6, that's why this greatest integer function of x square, this is like this. So, this should be equal to 5. Between root 5 and uh, root 6. Root 5 is closed bracket, root 6 is open bracket, like this. So basically, this one will split after square root of all integers in between. Because 2 square is 4 and 3 square is 9. 
so it will uh, this part will split at uh, uh, at square root of all integers at square root 5 square root 6 square root 7 square root 8 likewise okay so now the question is the question is the difference of this green one and red one okay this green one and red one let us now look at this difference what will happen before 0 and after 0 that is minus 1 to 0 minus 1 to 0 what is the green one green one is 1 red one is 0 1 minus 0 this is equal to 1 and between 0 and 1 what is happening green and red both are zeros so 0 minus 0 it's equal to 0 between 1 and root 2 what is happening 1 and root 2 this one both are 1's 1 minus 1 is equal to 0 between root 2 and root 3 between root 2 and root 3 between root 2 and root 3 the green one is still 1 the red one is 2 1 minus 2 which is equal to minus 1 similarly after let's took let's uh, look at some other integer that is uh, between 2 and between 2 which is this point and root 5 what is the green one the green one is actually equal to 4 and red one is also equal to 4 1 minus 4 equal to 0 between 2 and root 5 then this becomes the square of it becomes between 4 and 5 right that's why it will be between the uh, the square uh, greatest integer function of x square is actually equal to 4 right now after 2 it is 0 and uh, between root 3 and 2 between root 3 and 2 what is happening between root 3 that is 1.7 this is and the green one is 1 1 minus 3 1 minus 3 is equal to minus 2 so before 2 before 2 right before 2 it is minus 2 and after 2 it is actually 0 right before 0 it is 1 after 0 it is 0 before 1 it is 0 and after 1 also it is 0 so this function so basically what we are trying to say the red and green are coinciding here and here so that's why the difference is actually 0 in both these places that is 0 to square root of 2 the difference is 0 only between 0 to square root of 2 after that after that there are lot of breaks right lot of breaks that's why uh, the difference is also breaking right after every square root of every integer and after every integer the difference is breaking so there is no continuity so all integers uh, is discontinuous set all integers except one everywhere else it is breaking so at zero it is breaking at two it is breaking we can check for other ones it is breaking but uh, zero also it is breaking we have realized so this is also wrong and it is not breaking at one so this is wrong so except one every other integer it is breaking right guys simple problem based on uh, conceptual understanding or uh, careful calculation of these numbers right greatest in the function of x whole square and greatest in the function of x square right guys we don't need to do these for the, these many calculations here they asked about only 0 and 1 right so we don't even need to calculate for 2 because if we are able to calculate for 0 and 1 and if one of there it is breaking obviously this will this will be cancelled right if if it is applicable for only one of these then obviously all integers is not applicable if it was successful for 0 and 1 then we would have gone for checking 2 but checking 2 is not even needed because at 0 and 1 only we realize that uh, it is applicable for 1 but not for 0. Right guys. Thank you.